Oh my god, look at this construction contract. Bookcase, 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 and bookcase. That's a lot of bookcases. Bookcase, 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 bookcase. <laughs> They just recently actually increased the drop rate by quite a massive amount on the hard mode Arc Glacier, and I think that's good because the drop table before was very bad compared to the normal one. But the first one is 69 Glacier Remnants. So let's see what we can get on a kill streak now. How good the loot is. Uh, post commentary here, but uh, I'm not sure if this was a bug, but I stopped spinning and I got Glacier Remnants again, and I got crushed nests as well. I'm not sure why, but you can see there that in the next first clip I had 69 Glacier Remnants, now I have 216, and for some reason just randomly nests as well. Oh, crush nests again. Look at how many I'm getting. 813 from just 89% and rage. It's insane. Streaking from 0 to 99%, so pretty much 100%. The total value of all the loot is 13 mil. Oh, first manuscripts. Uh, how many is this going to be? 14 kills rate? Oh, only 4. I saw someone get like 30 of them in one single drop before. Kinda realized how much money you actually get from this. Look at this, 258 Oricalicum Salvage, and this alone is like 20 million in loot, so uh, it is very nice for Iron Man. I got stuck and I couldn't click anywhere, the boss was like actually just huge hitbox and I got stuck in one of the beebs and I could not get out. But uh, I was on like a 22-23 kill streak, and I think that should make my loot at least uh, be quite decent still. I think I lose like maybe 15 or 20% of the loot. So let's see, 37.9 mil. Still pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Now that I've died, I am just going to try to push my rage as high as possible. And if I lose kill streaks, I don't really care. So this is like a 280%. And 200 Glacier Remnants already without a killstreak. Nice. I think I'm at like 380% and I've died three times. And the only things I've ever died to are the ice beams. I try to barricade it every time, but the few times I do miss it, it takes 4k on me like three times instantly and I just die. So kind of sucks when that happens. So after this kill, I can do a 400% enraged kill. And I do want to stop on that because I'm actually running out of invention charge on my gear. Wait, I can siphon these. How close am I 120? Oh, I think I can... Wait, I can get actually 120 invention after I do the 400%. Sweet. Honestly, I think I'm pretty happy with 400%. I definitely can push for 500%, but uh, as I said, I don't really have that many supplies right now. And I don't have Gricko yet, and I kind of want to try to get that as well. But uh, let's see what the last loot is. Some uh, remnants, and how many is it going to be with a 3 kill streak on 400%? 715 That is a lot of remnants couple of things to achieve in this clip first off Let's get 120 invention and buy the cape as well It's going to be very nice to get a second 120. I do like the magic cape more though So I think I'm still going to keep that as my keepsake But still another 120 skill and let's see the broadcast as well if there is one there we go, Alone has achieved 120 invention, and now I can actually buy this as well, I'll just buy one, I think that should be good enough. And let's also of course remove the uh, wardrobe thing, clear customization, apply, and let's see how it looks. Looks pretty good, I mean it's not a bad looking cape, but I do enjoy the magic one a bit more. The perk on it is pretty good, it gives a slight drain reduction as well. But uh, now, the second thing I want to do is I actually want to make these gloves into tier 90. Because now it's way easier to get the remnants, so I don't really have to worry that much about uh, wasting some of them or something if these gloves wouldn't be the best. So I am just going to make these right away. And uh, let's see the stats, they go from 13 magic bonus to 14. And I did, I wasn't sure if there was an armor bonus, is there? I'm not sure, but it is regardless a very minor boost, but uh, still nice to have them. So I'm working on that 99 now, and I am only 700,000 experience off 99, but I just bought the full Master Constructor's outfit, and this is so useful, because if I just put the helmet out here on the bar, I can teleport to an estate agent, get the Varrock one, whatever one, doesn't really matter, then I just get a new contract here, and then when I have it, I click on it again, click Construction Contract, and I am 
instantly at the area I have to build, so this should speed up the process by quite a bit. Also, it has a chance to instantly finish my repairs, so this could get instantly filled, and also the base speed is increased slightly, so overall it should be pretty fast now to 99. Oh no wait, that's actually huge. I got a winter walled ram and it might seem kind of weird that I'm hyped about this one, but if I actually breed this or I get more of these, I can get the wool from this and specifically this one is actually used to make the elite sirenic patches, I think, the repair patches. So having this now is pretty nice. I'm not sure how you would normally get them. I think it's something like breeding them when it's winter. Maybe I got it because it was winter here, I'm not sure. But uh, I already set it to that because I know that's got something I have to do in the future. But uh, yeah, nice to get it from the trapper. I actually have to use teak planks. It's the only ones I have and I don't want to go and cut mahogany planks. But uh, don't think this will be just enough. Like I'll be like 1k, 2k, okay yeah, 2.2k off. But uh, we are about to get 99 construction in the next clip. And that is the 99 construction done. And I got the full outfit of course. And I have probably like 300 points left now that I can't actually use on anything. Because there is nothing else to buy. But that is another 99 skill. And the skill cape is that it can sometimes save planks. But I'm not really going to use the skill much now I think. So uh, that's something I'm going to pick up only if I'm going for 120 sometime in the future. But uh, yeah, probably not going to be for a while. I actually farmed some more invention charge on my gears, got uh, nearly 9 hours and I really want to get that Gricko. Of course it's pretty unlikely I'm going to get it from just like an hour of Raksha, but uh, I do want to give it a try anyways. So let's uh, extend a Reckless Aura and do an hour. Very nice Alex for the first drop, 1.5 million in some Oricalcum. Got some crystal keys but actually died one time, that's what happens when you haven't done Raksha for a few days, but uh, it's free death week so doesn't really matter. This hour is so bad. I've died like three times and I've got three kills in 40 minutes. Yeah, it is like this when I'm getting into Raksha again, I guess. Uh, when I actually got into it, I basically never died. But uh, yeah, I gotta get a bit more into it first. <sighs> oh my god. Even though this might be the worst Raksha hour I've done in a long time, I'm actually getting a lot of Alkyballs. The drops are pretty nice. But uh, 52 seconds left of the aura, and how many kills did I get? Like 3 or 4? Yeah, pretty bad, but uh, I'm actually going to activate a Majorat aura as well and do another aura. Hopefully I won't die a billion times. So I actually killed a couple of more off video, but then I took a break and I started again and I've killed quite a few off video. You can see here I am at 75 now and I started at 53. So I think I only showed like 4 or 5 loots, but I've done like 23. Or 22 or something like that. But I'm going to keep doing Raksha, taking a break and recovering a bit actually made me uh, not die to the boss continuously all the time. So uh, let's see if we can get to like 80 something plus KC. The 80 KC kill was actually almost a record kill. 549 is a record, 558 on that one. And that was with a Majorat Aura for some black dragon hides. But I think 27 kills is going to be enough for this video. So now I'm going to do something else. I put all the Orichalcum and some rune items as well in my Alchemizer from the Glazor and the Raksha kills. So let's see how much money we got from this now. I have 7 mil and in here we have 23 million and I still have some rune salvage as well. I think I have even more of these in the bank as well that I been, didn't put in from Raksha but uh, wow 23 million from doing just that. And I've seen some people get insane amounts of money from doing the Glazor. And it is a boss I definitely want to try to do more kill streaks on from 0% up the, to like 500%. It's probably a good thing for my account, but 30 million now. Quite the difference. I do want to push for that 99 archaeology, get done with the skill. Of course, it goes all the way to 120, but I am not going to focus on getting that before I max. So I just want to rush 99 archaeology, which is 2 million experience, which, if you've done archaeology before, is going to take quite some time. So I'm going to end the video here, do a lot of archaeology off video, and start the next one with some nice progress. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode, got some nice PVMing done, got my cash pile up to 30 million, so I can actually spend some money on traveling merchants now which is super good think some death touch darts are coming in a couple of weeks so we'll be able to do some more ambassador kills with that but if you like the video please leave a like i also do have a discord if you want to join that link is always at the top of the description have a good one guys take care